I realized that the boy had gone crazy. And I had upset him a little bit more than I thought I had. Cause evidently he had forgotten. It's my house. So being the kind, generous person that I am, I did give him one more chance. But to keep him on the right track, I told him, if you finally learn your lesson, no deposit, no return. You can't treat me like
couldn't put that Mickey Mickey out. And strange things starts happening around the house. And then you come home one day, lo and behold, there's a different kind of log in the fireplace. A log bigger than yours. A longer log than yours And it just burns for hours Even after the log burned down The coals stay hot Then you know your ass in trouble It's time for you to gather your twig And split Now I want to tell you something here This is what is about to happen in our situation. I've been checking out the logs in the neighborhood. Nice logs. In fact, there's a whole goddamn forest out there. And I am ready with my axe to chop down the first tree I see, baby. I want you to know this. So what I suggest you do here, if you want to keep these home fires burning, is do like they do when they go downtown shopping. If you see something you want, and you don't have the money, or it might be a little too expensive or whatever the case is right now, now ain't the time for you to get it. If you really want it, you ought to put it in the layaway. Sort of put something down on it. That's the way it is with this fire here. If you want this fire to stay burning, you better lay a nice log on it. If you want my love Put some down on it Spend a little time on it Oh, babe Daddy, only if you put some down on it, spend a little time. 
everything's gonna be alright. Somebody help me right here. Come on, Pete, help me out. Myself. 